In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create advanced picture-in-picture -picture effects in your videos. You'll learn how to pan and zoom within your video overlays, how to adjust color, and how to keyframe the movement of your PIP windows. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. In this first example, I want to add a PIP window of a man skiing over top this mountain video. I have already added the background video I want to use to the video track on my timeline. Now I'm going to drag this video I want to use as an overlay onto the overlay track. I want to add a pan and zoom effect to the overlay so it zooms up on the man skiing as the video progresses. To do this, I'll double click on the overlay on the timeline. And from here, click on Apply Pan and Zoom. You can select any of the Pan and Zoom presets from the drop down menu. You can click Customize to adjust the Pan and Zoom preset you've selected. I'm going to click on Customize. From here, I'll make sure the first keyframe is selected. And then I can click and drag the red highlighted cross icon on the preview pane to adjust the starting position of the video. I can also adjust the size of the window by dragging on the yellow nodes. Then I'll click on the end keyframe and again adjust the position of the window to zoom up on the man to indicate where we want to position the final frame. We can press play to preview and then click OK once you're happy with it. Now let's click on the color tab to make some adjustments to the overlay color. This will be useful if your overlay clip doesn't match the color tones of your background. For example, if the background is really washed out and the overlay is really saturated. We can adjust any of the color grading controls to ensure both clips match. In this example, the video of the man skiing is a lot cooler in tone than the background video. So I'm going to click on white balance and select the overcast preset so the video is warmer in tone. I'll also decrease the exposure of the video. And now let's press play to preview and you'll see how our videos match much better in color and tone and we have a nice pan and zoom of the man skiing within the overlay. In this next example, I'm going to teach you how to customize the motion of your PIP windows. We're going to start off with a basic technique by keyframing the movement of the overlay from right to left. We'll right click on our overlay and go to motion, then customize motion. From here, I'll click on the end keyframe. And then I'll click and drag the PIP window on the preview pane to the left of the screen. Now, when we click play, you'll see the PIP window moves from the right to the left as the video plays. But for this video, I want to try something more advanced, so I'm going to click on reset. Now, I'll click on the first keyframe and then readjust the size and position of the overlay on the preview pane so that it is large and centered in the middle. Then I'll right click on the first keyframe and select copy and paste to all. I want the video to remain in this position for a few seconds, so I'm going to drag the scrubber a few seconds in and then click the add keyframe icon. Then I'll drag my scrubber to a few seconds before the last keyframe and click the Add Keyframe icon again. Now I'll adjust the size of the overlay on the preview pane and click and drag the overlay to the top left-hand corner. I can also adjust the opacity level of the overlay to zero so the overlay slowly fades away at the end of the video. Then right-click on this keyframe and select Copy and Paste to All Right so that these attributes remain the same until the end of the clip. Now if we press play to preview, you'll see how the image shrinks into the corner of the video clip and slowly fades to blend with the background. We can also select Reverse Keyframes to reverse the effect. And now you'll see the PIP window fades in and expands to the center. These are a few of the ways you can enhance your videos by adding advanced picture-in-picture -picture effects. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. 
Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for Video Studio.